Powered by Newton Adaptive Learning and aligned with National Common Core Standards, Triumph Learning's Waggle is built for grades 3 through 8 and available in both math and English language arts. Waggle can be used in the classroom or as a supplement to classroom teaching. The instructor can plan out the curriculum by assigning goals, or assignments, to her students in advance or along the way. Students can then get the benefit of personalized, smart practice, either at home or in the classroom. Waggle uses games, review sections, progress indicators, and other fun features to engage students in the learning process. Today's classrooms are filled with students who have different needs, come from different backgrounds, and have different interests. Within Waggle, Newton Technology figures out what each student knows and recommends which concepts to work on next, helping all students meet course goals, master material, and get ahead. For instructors, Waggle features a robust, easy-to-use interface that provides actionable information about their students, along with suggestions of ways to use that data to inform instruction and intervene when necessary. Educators can identify students who are struggling or excelling in certain content areas and take immediate steps to remediate or accelerate as necessary. Waggle is a brand new product. The Triumph and Newton teams consulted throughout the product development process to ensure adaptivity was incorporated in a way that supported the desired user flow. Many of Newton's partners are integrating adaptive recommendations and analytics into existing products. In these cases, collaboration is just as important. Newton wants to ensure adaptivity is in the service of the desired user experience. Let's dive in. The instructor dashboard is divided into two zones. On the right, you can see the goal map. This is a map of all of the available goals in my course, which in Waggle represents the available assignments I can give to my students. Right now I'm looking at fifth grade math because that's what I'm teaching this year. However, as a Waggle teacher, I have access to all content and goals from grades three through eight and can assign any of those as well if I so choose. Within each goal, the target skills have been already defined for me. Triumph defined these skill groupings while working through the content development process with Newton. A goal might contain three to six skills, which I can see by clicking on any goal and opening up the details. Here you can see the skills included in this goal, all of which are aligned to common core standards. You can also see grit, a metric defined and tracked by Triumph to measure student persistence and effort. These goals are completely Newton adaptive, which means that once I assign one to my students, Newton will recommend practice items one by one, personalizing the experience every step of the way, until the student has demonstrated proficiency on the target skills and completed the assignment. Triumph has defined the desired threshold for completion, while determining proficiency and whether that student has reached that threshold is done via Newton's statistical models. Newton can pull from all questions associated with the target skills, as well as questions relating to prerequisite skills, even reaching back to previous grade levels if and when the student needs some foundational practice. Teachers have the flexibility to assign whichever goals they choose in whichever order, to all or some students, or to an individual. The arrows you see here were designed to give teachers a sense of possible ordering options, rooted in the conceptual knowledge graph that Newton and Triumph developed together of the content. On my goal map, I can see which ones I've assigned, as well as where my students are working now. Over on the left, we see some high-level information. Here, under Skills to Watch, I can see if my class overall is struggling on anything. To compile this view, Triumph would rely on student proficiency metrics powered by Newton Analytics as a core input to Triumph proprietary logic. As a teacher, I may choose to spend the first few minutes of class reviewing any skills that show up here. Similar to Skills to Watch is the section on Students to Watch. Here, of course, we're surfacing particular students. However, it's important to note that we're surfacing students who are both struggling and those who are excelling. This way, the teacher can make individualized assignments to ensure that no one is lost or bored. The determination of this list comes from a combination of Newton analytics, such as proficiency and active time, as well as triumph factors, such as latest login. Below, there's also information about student recognition achievements, which lists out waggle side gamification elements from the student experience. If we dive into one of our students to watch, here we can see more details about the student. This detailed screen is again a combination of Newton provided metrics, here you can see readiness forecast on goals, and non-Newton metrics as well. 
Each piece of this screen has been designed to provide actionable, relevant information for the instructor. Where and how Newton Analytics surface, in light of the desired instructor, learner, and administrator experiences, are topics tackled in product workshops throughout the integration process. There are, of course, additional administrative features such as roster, class creation, and email functionality, but the core of the instructor's system with Newton revolves around goal creation using the map and robust metrics about how the students are doing and what the teacher can do about it. Let's switch over now and look at Waggle from the perspective of a student. I'm currently enrolled as a fifth grader in both an ELA class to cover reading and writing and math. Here, I'm looking at ELA. The first thing you'll notice is the engaging, friendly interface. The second thing you'll notice is the clear front and center list of assignments I see right here. These are goals that have been assigned to me by my instructor, along with the due dates that she has set for me. These goals may have been set at the outset of the course, or, as mentioned when we were in the instructor view, instructors may choose to add goals in the midst of a course in response to trends in their students' performance. Triumph has made product-specific decisions. For example, they allow the teacher to select which goals to assign and when they're due, and the Waggle system determines if they should be locked to the student or not. Within the goals, Newton powers the content. Beyond the assignments themselves, the other elements on my screen were created by Triumph for fun and motivation. I can see Cloudy, the friendly avatar who guides me through the product, along with a lift meter that helps me see my upwards and forwards progress. At the bottom, I can see additional information about the number of flocks of flying pigs I've released by correctly answering streaks of consecutive items, as well as reviewing past goals that I've completed. Including such gamification was especially important to Triumph, given the younger demographic the Waggle product targets. Clicking into any available goal will take me straight into work mode. The progress meters and other potential distractions clear away, and I'm left with a clean working interface. In ELA, I might see individual grammar questions, or I might see entire reading passages like this one. Each of these individual questions is sending data to Newton. In other words, when graphing the content, each question was treated as its own separate item. As students interact, we're able to assess their performance at a granular question-by-question -question level, enhancing our view of the student and also giving us growing visibility into how effectively a given question assesses a particular skill. Now that we've seen ELA, let's go take a look at a math question. I'll go back to my dashboard and click into my math class, then enter a math goal. These assignments are completely adaptive meaning that even from this very first item, I'm seeing a Newton recommendation. This is the question I should work on next, taking into account everything else I've done and how soon my goals are due. I'll get this first recommended item wrong, letting both Waggle and Newton know I need some help. There's strong formative practice within the questions. You can see that because I got this wrong, Waggle is providing me with some encouragement and direction, and I need to try again. In Waggle, I cannot move forward until I finally get the problem correct. This is a product decision by Triumph in order to emphasize the practice-based learning that occurs from working through a problem multiple times. Newton's partners have variable approaches to requiring completion of certain content. There are hints available to me here if I choose to use them as well. Through all of this productive struggle, Newton is getting the information of how many times I've gotten this item right or wrong. The program knows that if I answer incorrectly four times before finally getting it right, I'm probably not ready to move on from this topic. Whereas if I get it right on the very first try, I'm demonstrating a higher level of proficiency and the recommendations will adjust accordingly. I continue through the goal until I've demonstrated enough proficiency in the target skills that Newton has determined I'm ready to move on. If I go back to my dashboard, I can see that I've begun to fill up my battery meters this is how Triumph has chosen to illustrate to students how they're progressing toward mastery, using data provided by Newton to drive the visualization. My goal is to charge up all the batteries, showing that I've successfully completed the material. Through a fun and friendly interface, students are encouraged to keep trying and work toward mastery throughout Waggle. Waggle is a robust application of Newton's technology. Recommendations are generated on an item-by-item -item basis, and the suite of teacher analytics is comprehensive. It demonstrates the strength of the Newton platform, 
as well as the flexibility our API can provide. Whether a partner's product is for elementary or graduate school students, Newton's personalization engine can ensure a truly adaptive experience in real time, empowering students to learn effectively and efficiently.